Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. Well, I turned my computer off the other day. I went back to it the next morning to turn it on, and I was having some problems with the hard drive. It got to the point where um, the uh, system wouldn't even boot with the drive in. So I took the drive out, put it in a different machine, and I did some, uh, I repaired the file system on it. So let's take a look at what I did to get it working. I'm going to list the block device SDE and we'll see that on this device we have three partitions. SDE1 is the root, SDE2 is extended partition, and the, in the extended partition we have SDE5, which is a swap. Now we're going to also want to list the, um, the file system type, OSBLK-F and the SDE. We have an EXT4 file system on our root. We're going to want to use dump. Uh, dump E2FS device SDE1, and we're gonna also grep the um, super block. So this will tell us where all of the uh, super blocks are. The backups of the super block are on the disk because the primary is messed up. So what we want, we'll just use this 32,768. I'm just gonna need to keep track of that number. So now we do sudo uh, E2FSCK, so file system check. And then B, the backup of the super block, uh, 30,768 Y for yes, and then the device. So this is going to go through and it's going to check all the inodes, the blocks, and sizes, and it will then make any corrections that need to be made. This can take some time. So um, if we didn't do the dash Y, I would have had to press Y at every instance of some kind of a, a mishap. But since we have Y checked, it's going to cycle through all of them. Uh, it'll, it'll do a repair automatically without any kind of intervention. Now I can take this drive, put it back in the original machine, and it will boot properly. I'll do sudo ddif for infile device sde. And then out file, I'm in a recovery directory here, this is where I want it to be. So in this directory, uh, dot forward slash, um, I'll name it, uh, what is this? Oh yeah, this is my Arch, uh, my Arch Linux drive here. And archlinux.img, then bit size, we'll do one gigabyte. And this is connected through USB 3.0 device. So then we'll status equals progress. So one gigabyte should be fine. Um, it's actually, uh, n I think like 960 gigabytes or something. So this is going to take some time. Let's let this uh, go through its process here. All right, we waited for that to complete. Now we have an image on our, uh, our system here. Just take a look at that. It's 895 gigabytes. Since I've made a backup disk image of this drive, if the problem persists, I can get a new drive, write the image to the disk, and replace it. So now we have this disk image, we're going to want to mount it. So let's take a look in our mount directory. There's nothing there. So we'll make a directory in our mount. You could put it anywhere. You can, you can mount this anywhere you want. I'm just going to use mount disk image. So now we've created this directory in mount called disk image. But in order to um, mount this, we're going to need to set up a loop loopback device. So we'll do sudo low setup and dev loop zero and then our image. This creates a loopback device. We're also going to want to know the offset for the partition in our image that we want to mount. We're going to use, I'm just going to use this utility parted. So we do parted, then disk image, and switch the units to bytes, and then print. This will output the offset of the partitions in the image. And for ours, we're going to want uh, to use this right here, um, 1,084,576 bytes. So it's going to be the offset for our mount. So we'll quit that. Um, let's go sudo mount, then the loopback device. And now we're going to have some parameters here. Dash O, loop, and then read write. And the offset is going to equal that 1,048,576. Okay, make sure we take the B out, because otherwise it'll give us some kind of an error, because we just need the number. And then the mount point which is mount disk image and yep right our disk image right there or our mount disk image that's our that's where we're going to mount that 
and just press enter we won't get any feedback but we can look um, in our mount directory or actually mount disk image directory and now we see that uh, our partition from that disk image is mounted there now I can go ahead and do whatever kind of backup or additional maintenance that I want to do on this this with this disk image so you can look at it in the file system just navigate there just so you can get a graphical perspective okay see there's the root of our disk image that was on the hard drive that was kind of messed up now the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, in order to unmount it we want to do sudo unmount and then mount the, the disk image the, 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 the mount point and then we're also going to want to use the uh, LO setup to and uh, give it the dash D and uh, device loop zero so that we can remove the image from the loopback device that's how we properly unmount the disk image in this segment I had some problems with my hard drive I showed you how I fixed it if you have any experiences with system recovery hard drive problems please visit element14.com forward slash pseudosargent and leave your comments there and have fun and stuff. Mm -hmm.